Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so I'm going to give you a really basic tour of the BIOS in the Z490 Phantom Gaming 4. Now, like I said, this is going to be basic, so there'll be things on here that uh, yours truly will not have a clue on. Even as many computers as I've seen, and even as many BIOSes as, as I have been in. So when you first boot up, you end up in the easy mode. So let's take a look at that. Up here you see the information about the computer. Uh, right here is the actual BIOS. I have since updated it. This is uh, July 4th. Uh, happy 4th of July, everybody. So that is, as of today, the most current BIOS that's out there. Here's my CPU. There's processor speed, and that's the base speed, and how much RAM I have. Now in this section we see our uh, the type of RAM and what it's running at, as well as uh, here is our XMP profile information. Storage-wise, I've only got uh, one M.2 installed on this. Now. In this area, we see the uh, fan status, CPU fan, and this is on the test bench, so you do not see any of the other fans. But um, you see, according to this, there are five system fan headers on the motherboard. I have not bothered to uh, count them since the unboxing, so I believe that's correct. Uh, here you can adjust your uh, CPU fan if you want to and down here is uh, locations for doing the uh, insta flash um, you can also do it through windows with this motherboard this area we see the uh, boot priority and uh, even though it looks like there's two drives this is really uh, basically this is a duplicate of that now if I had another drive in here um, you would still see these two, but you'd have an additional drive. All right. Uh, looks like time, date. It's a Saturday. Temperature, CPU voltage, and once again, um, excuse me, that's a motherboard temperature and CPU temperature. Let's take a look at the advanced mode. One last thing here. Sorry. Here is some of your R RGB stuff on off. Quick way to uh, get that going. I have no RGB hooked up to this thing. All right, advanced mode, or you could hit F6. Now this is where things get a little more complicated. Uh, main menu, repeat of what you saw earlier, but across the top here we have different sections we can get into. So OC tweaker this is um the place that you're going to go so let's um look here at cpu configuration this is the place where you would go if you want to change your power limits okay pl1 and 2 they are uh, basically in here so what you would do is go in and actually type in a value uh, in watts and uh, that would change those two things. Right now, one is set to probably 65 watts and the other uh, 224 watts, if I remember correctly, even though it says auto. You can see that in uh, one of my videos um, in the Intel Extreme Utility is another place to go and actually see those. All right, so a lot of uh, things in here you can change. Other stuff that uh, people might care about if you want to turn turbo boost off or on, basically you're enabling it or disabling it, that is done here. All right. And there's obviously a lot of other stuff that uh, if I knew about, we could talk about. Okay. Now for your RAM. So one thing um, I've been kind of curious about is changing this... Uh, B, uh, BCLK speed um, for this processor supposedly uh, what is it 103 
megahertz will uh, produce some better results. I have uh, looked and looked in here and not been able to find where to change that. So if you uh, happen to be checking this video out and you know, let me know. I appreciate it. All right, so XMP 2.0 Profile 1. And um, this is, uh, I don't know why that's not enabled. So obviously in here, this is where you're going to go and change your uh, RAM. And you've got all kinds of choices. And you obviously, uh, I don't know, this would be amazing to have RAM like that. But, uh, you know, I think as of right now, this thing only supports like uh, 4,800. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. So you have all your timing stuff in here. Hopefully I didn't just fly through that too fast because you were looking for something. lot of there's a lot of stuff in here um Monday maybe I will be an expert on this but today we're not and therefore we're not going to talk about it all right so voltage configuration or you want to come in here here is the location to uh, mess with your RAM voltage um, this is uh, somewhere I'm probably going to come back and do some fine tuning at some point. Advanced. So other stuff in here under uh, CPU configuration. And, you know, somebody had asked me or made some comment about uh, CPU thermal throttling. So... Um, it's enabled, and I'm not sure if on my B460 and H470s it is, but there it is right there. Um, so it is possible that a person asked me that question that uh, the CPU was throttling because uh, it is enabled to do it. All right, so you see Intel Hyper Threading Technology, you can enable, disable that in here. Um, and... Let's back out of this. So we have all these other things. Chipset configuration. And I'm just going through these so you guys can see. There's nothing in here that I'm going to talk about. Storage configuration. So here you see the drives. Um, and there's our Samsung NVMe M.2 configuration. There's only one in here. So this this motherboard was a was actually a major disappointment. It only has one M.2. Um, why that is, I don't know. Thunderbolt discrete Thunderbolt support. Currently disabled. Super I.O. configuration. ASPI. So these are all things that I just, I would never use. USB port. So, um, that's interesting. You could shut these down. So, um, some people that don't want others, if you don't want somebody messing with your computer, um, Let's say you work in a company that doesn't want people bringing their own thumb drives. This would appear to be the place that you can do it. Once again, if I'm wrong about that, somebody let me know. All right, so that's what's under advanced. Tool. Here's RGB stuff. And these things are on here. NVMe sanitation tool. I wonder what that does. Ooh, we don't want to mess with that. Looks like you can format it. So also under tool, if you watch my uh, video, um, I may have talked about InstaFlash. I call it InstaFlash here because Gigabyte and everybody else does, but Instant Flash is in here. All right, hardware monitor. 
So CPU temperature motherboard, all this stuff's in here. All stuff that you can get, you know, third party software. And I will scroll through this whole thing so you can see it. All right. So I've got quite a few other motherboards that I'm going to do the same thing to, I guess. All right, so here's uh, if you wanted to put a password in uh, to protect your computer from somebody getting in here. And then obviously uh, boot and exit. So that's going to do it for this video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.